you guys worked your ass off in Blitzkid. I said I've read somewhere where you did like 260 shows in 2006 alone. I think that's right. Yeah, yeah that's crazy. Ooh. So we were, <laughs> yeah. yeah. What was it like to, to tour with Face to Face and Strung Out? How how was that tour, and how were you guys received on that tour by the fans? Uh, those tours were great. Um, face to face and the strung out that tour, I should say, um, you know, we kind of just happened onto that tour by chance. What had happened was I, you know, this was when I, I made the conversion from my space to Facebook. So this is like 2008, 2009. And everyone I think was making the leap from my space because it just turned into, you know, basically what Facebook is now. But at that time, everyone's like, you know, there's too much noise. Let's go over here. Let's do this thing. And I jumped on too. And I found Trevor Keith, the the singer, you know, from Face to Face, and uh, I was like, I'm just gonna write this guy, yeah, you because know, I was sitting around in in, in in this practice space one day, and uh, I was just kind of reflecting back on life and and all the stuff that had gotten me to, you know, at least where I was at that point in time in my life, and just counting my blessings, so to speak. And Face to Face was always one of those bands to me that was very inspiring. It made me want to play music. Same with Tracy. Um, so. And at that point in time, we were we were we were kind of in a place with with the band, like speaking with festivals, where we were doing a lot that we had set out to do. And I was like, I'm going to write this guy. And just tell him, like, hey, man, you know, I'm, I'm going to write him that that quintessential letter of I'm the kid that you inspired and thanks for everything. And he wrote me back. He was like, you know, thanks a lot for the message. I really appreciate that. And we were so happy. We just so happened to be getting ready for a tour. And Trevor was living in Nashville at the time. And we were playing the end in Nashville. So we invited him to the show and he said he would come out and he did he saw the performance and uh, we told our booking agent about it. And he had mentioned to us, well, I know their booking agent and I know that they're coming out with a new album. So why don't we try to get you guys on tour with them, uh, write them and see if they would be interested. And I did. And he said, absolutely, man, you know, you've got our blessing. So we'll put our agent in touch with your agent. And that's how it happened. Um, and, you know, we were freaking out, man. It was <laughs> yeah. surreal for us because that was probably the biggest tour that we had done, at least in the States. I mean, we toured with bands like The Damned and Leftover Crack and stuff like that over overseas, uh, but not so much with any other bands here in the States. The only other bands that we really went out with that were, I guess, considered like a major tour were we opened for the Necromantics um, back in 2010, I believe it was. And then, you know, the Face to Face tour in, in 2000 and um, I believe it was 11 or whenever it was. But as far as reception, it was good. Uh, I think maybe people could probably hear enough of face-to-face -face in our music. And I think one thing that's always helped Blitz Kid is when we come out on stage, we really set the bar low. You know, people see us and they see grown dudes in makeup and they see <laughs> fake blood and, and Halloween shit. You know what I mean? And they're like, oh, this is automatically going to be terrible. So I know exactly it, what you mean. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's he's an event. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, so you know, you, you feel me, right? Like it, yeah. so, so that 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 used to bum us out, and then we realized, well, wait a minute. If we lower everybody's expectations at the very beginning, then it can only go up from there for a good band, and that's how it worked for us. We, I think, you could see it a lot of times, not just on the face to face tour, but whenever we would play mixed um, lineup style style shows or, or festivals, you could always watch people gradually look around like i think i like this band or they would kind of look at each other like that's all right and they start start to clap and then they start to move and it was no different for the face-to-face -to -face tour really um musically speaking we don't really sound the way we look in blitz kid all the time um and as i said that's helped us out oh, little child, 